Sports fans, ASMR Sports. Back with yet another candy video. I had to really get this one done because um, my six-year-old loves airheads and uh, she doesn't really have them all that often, but uh, she found this box that I had purchased at, uh, I think I got this at Walmart. And, um, you know, ask me. <laughs> here and I said I was going to make a video with it um, she said uh, hurry up and make it because uh, she wants to eat the airheads and uh, that was like a week and a half ago so every time she sees it she asks if I've made the video yet and uh, I have not until today so folks we have a jumbo box of airheads can Sixty bars. I think this thing was like ten bucks. I believe I saw somewhere. Maybe it was like um, Sam's Club. They had boxes of ninety airheads. I also noticed, uh, like about a week ago, I was with said six-year-old at uh, a local um, convenience store, like a gas station inside looking at the candy and um, they had airheads like individual airheads and the mofos were charging 50 cents a piece for those things which is insane like when I was a kid like, I don't think they had airheads when I was like really young but basically when these came out I mean these things were like 15 cents 20 cents a piece now they're 50 cents which is funny because that's what like a candy bar costs but now as a kid now candy bars are like a buck you know 40 or something ridiculous thing. I'm sure they've gone up, you know, in the last two years with the inflation. So maybe they're like a dollar sixty or something now, but anyways, if you buy on if you buy sixty of these <coughs> for ten bucks, that's like, you know, fifteen cents each, I think. Something like that, seventeen cents. Um so yeah, here we go. My plan is to uh do a taste test of each one of these. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six flavors, and uh, I've, I've probably had most of them at different uh, points in my life. And it uh, looks like we'll get a nice little display here, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to think how this is going to work here. I think it's like. Um, So basically, this uh, this one is colored white. The other ones are colored, you know, the color of their respective fruit. Um, but 
we don't know what flavor it is, and you know, I, I really don't know. Um, I mean, they've make they've been making these forever. I I don't know if like there's some flavor of that is assigned to these, and that's always what's in here, or if this like could be you know cherry, or it could be grape, or it could be orange, but it's just colored white. I really don't know. I haven't ever researched that. So um, who knows? I might save that one for last. Maybe I'm going to try watermelon first. I'm going to try to keep these kind of like in the wrapper. Just take like a bite. Keep it in the wrapper and then sort these by like which one is best. Now, of course, this is just going to be my personal preference. Some of you all may love watermelon. And I'm sure I'm going to put watermelon last. But, you know, maybe I'll be surprised. So there you go. It's kind of bright green. Looks really like it. So it's, it's tolerable. I mean, I wouldn't say that I, you know, I hate that candy. I, I just would not, I would never pick it, you know, if I have all these other flavors. All right, next I'm going to do blue raspberry. I'm going to do these kind of in the order that I think I will probably prefer them, and maybe I'll be surprised. such an interesting flavor. It's like there's no such thing as a blue raspberry. There's black raspberry. Which is really like a dark purple raspberry. Um, so it's kind of like an imaginary fruit. And the question is is it supposed to be its own flavor? Is it supposed to be raspberry flavored that just is colored blue? You know, like pink lemonade is just pink colored lemonade as opposed to strawberry lemonade, which is its own thing. It's a real mystery what the intention, but I don't know, blue raspberry artificial flavoring is just kind of its own unique thing, kind of like, I don't know, I feel like a lot of these kind of like um, uh, watermelon, especially in banana, you know, just kind of its own sort of invented <laughs> flavor that's similar to the real, you know, the fruit it's intending to capture, but quite different, whereas I feel like cherry kind of does taste like cherry, but I don't know, maybe I just like the artificial cherry flavor more than I like the artificial, you know, watermelon. So there's cherry, a classic, delicious.
as good that the cherry flavor is not very strong. I wish it were a bit more pronounced. But it is that, you know, sort of classic, like, um, cherry starburst flavor that, you know, it's just one of my favorite candy flavors. ago, but you remember like Luden's cough drops, cough drops came in those little um, cardboard, white cardboard boxes, and they were like wrapped, and inside they had like a sort of a wax paper bag, and god, those things tasted so effing good, you just wanted to eat them like year round, never mind when you had a sore throat or whatever, but you know, if you had a sore throat and you had to go to school or whatever, sometimes you get some of those, you know, from your parents or something. Maybe if you had money, you could buy them at the store, and they would let you have them, but, you know, in, the, in school, because they're technically, like, medicinal. Um, boy, those were the days, guys. Those were the days when you had the Luton's cough drops. Oh, man, everybody wanted one. <clears throat> so, yeah, I mean, that's the same kind of cherry flavor, I think, in pretty much every, or not every, but a lot of cherry candies. I like that one a lot. Okay, last. We're gonna do orange. Well, these are all very brightly colored. I'm sure that's, you know, artificial coloring that's probably gonna give me cancer in 20 years. Why? Yeah, it smells like, uh, strong orange smell it's like you know orange juice concentrate which is a you guys ever eat orange juice concentrate like just plain <laughs> uh, I remember when I was a kid like I don't know my sister like had a friend who you know did that and then she did it and then I did it and it's like it's it's delicious because it's just really intense flavor I mean it's basically like um, you know eating really good strong flavored orange candy it's not like too sour or too sweet. It's just very sweet and sour. Um, so yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> it's, you know, it's really like a very strong orange sorbet or something. So give this one a whirl.
this one. seems like, um, you know, the most, like, natural flavor one, the most, the most, uh, accurate flavor to the, you know, flavor it's supposed to be, and that's probably because oranges are, you know, naturally a very tart, <clears throat> acidic fruit, of course. These, I'm sure, have citric acid in them, which, you know, comes from is the same kind of, I don't know how they make citric acid for these kinds of things, but all candies have citric acid, it seems. That's how they, you know, get their tartness. Uh, I don't think that citric acid is, like, reduced from orange juice or something like that. I'm sure it's just created, like, in a lab, you know. Um, but it's still, you know, uh, 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 chemically, you know, the same as citric acid found in a, a piece of citrus fruit so um, you know it, it it is the same uh, kind of flavor and profile as uh, what's in the actual fruit and I think it just sort of feels more accurate um, than you know having all that citric acid in a watermelon candy for example oh holy crap I almost forgot the most exciting one, which is the um, mystery flavor white. So there you see that nice, oh, oh wow, that's, yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's very fruity, kind of, I hope it's not banana or something. Yeah, it's almost, it almost smells like lime, maybe. Okay, going in.
guys enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch y'all next time. You have a great one. Bye now.